Okay, welcome back to the video on AC series circuits. In this video, we will be dealing with two problems on AC series circuit. Coming to the first problem, a voltage of 120 volt at 50 hertz is applied to a resistance in series with a capacitance C. The current drawn is 2 ampere and the power loss in the resistance is 100 watt. Calculate the resistance and capacitance. Here, we are going to deal with an RZ series circuit. There will be a resistor in series with a capacitor Z. Resistor in series with a capacitor C. Okay. The supply voltage is 120 volt. 120 volt. Frequency is 50 hertz. Okay. Resistor is R. Resistor is R. Then capacitance is Z. Okay. Now, power consumed by the resistance is 100 watt. And the current drawn by the circuit is 2 ampere. You need to find the values of R and C. That is the question. Okay. So, I will do the problem in, in the here. Okay. So, first let me divide this into two. Okay. Now, coming to the problem. Okay. In the problem, it is mentioned that it is the given circuit is basically an RC series circuit. So, first of all, draw a RC series circuit. So, resistance in series with a Capacitance C. Resistance will be in series with a capacitance C. So let me draw it. Okay. Resistance will be in series with the capacitance C. Okay. This is a supply. Okay. You are having AC supply. Okay. You don't know resistance. You don't know capacitance. The supply is 120 volt and frequency is 50 hertz. Frequency is 50 hertz. Okay. Now, or else you know, the current drawn is 2 ampere. Okay. So, current drawn is 2 ampere. Current drawn is 2 ampere. Okay. So, this must have the data given. Whether any of the data is given? Yes. What is that? The power loss in the resistor is 100 watt. So, what we can see? See, the power loss in the resistor is basically the active power, that is VA cos y. Okay, or the power loss in the resistor can be also be determined as I square R. Power loss P in the resistor is what? P. Power loss in the resistor is given as 100 watt. Power loss in the resistor is given as 100 watt. Okay, so based on, so what is the power loss in the resistor? It is I square R. It is I square into R. What is the value of current? The value of current is 2 ampere. Therefore, 100 is equal to 100 is equal to 2 square into R. Therefore, R is equal to 100 by 4. 100 by 4. That comes to 25 ohm. 25 ohm. So, the value of resistance is 25 ohm. So, you got the value of resistance of 25 ohm. Now, coming to, now, next thing is, we need to find the value of capacitance C. Now, see, power is there. Okay. Now, power is also is equal to VA cos Y. Power is also, you can write it as V I cos And thus, power is equal to VA cos Y. Therefore, we know P. What is P? Power is only consumed by the resistor. So, P is 100 watt. Voltage is 120 volt. Current is 2 ampere. So, we need to find cos Y. What is cos Y? From this expression, cos Y is P by VA. Okay. What is power? Power is 100. 100 divided by 100 divided by, what is voltage? 120 into, what is current? 2 ampere. 120 into 2. So, what is the answer? answer is 100 by 100 by 240. It will be 100 by 240. It will be equal to 5, 0.42. Okay. So, power factor will be equal to 0 0.42. Now, since it is an RC circuit, power factor will be leading. Power factor will be leading. Okay. So, you got power factor as 0.42. Now, 
Next up, draw the impedance triangle. How do you draw the impedance triangle of RC series circuit? Resistance is in the horizontal axis. Xc is in the vertical axis. Okay. And this is the impedance. Is it? This is 5. Now, from this one, what do we get? Cos y is also equal to R by Z. Cos y is also equal to R by Z. So from here, what is Z? Z is equal to R by cos phi. Already, already cos phi is one. What is cos phi? Cos phi is 0 0.42. Cos phi is 0 0.42. Therefore, Z is R divided by that is 25 divided by 25 divided by 0 0.42. That comes to 25 divided by 0 0.42. That is equal to 59.52. Okay. So the impedance of the circuit is 59.52 ohms. Okay. So you have, so we got the impedance of the circuit as 59.52 ohms. Now what is HC? From the impedance triangle, we will get HC as HC is equal to root of Z square minus R square. Okay. What is that? That is equal to square root of what is Z square? 59.52 square. 59.52 square minus what is R square? Minus 25 square. What is it? That is given us 59.52 square minus 25 square and its root. So it is 54.01 ohm. So my idea of HC is 54.01 ohm. Or we can approximate it as 54 ohm. Now, based on frequency. Now see, frequency is given as 50 hertz. What is omega? Omega is 2 pi f. Omega is 2 pi f. What is it? Pi is 314, f is 50. Therefore, omega is 314. Radian per second. 314 radians per second. Okay. And HC is 54.01 ohm. Okay. Now, again, what is, H, what is HC? HC is given as 1 by omega C. HC is given as 1 by omega C. Therefore, what is C? C is given as 1 by omega into HC. So, omega you will get it as 314, omega is 314, HC is 54.01. Therefore, the capacitance is given by 1 divided by 314 into 54.01. Okay. So, it is 5.89 into 10 raised to minus 5. Or we can write it as 58.9 or 59. It is 59, 59 micro farad. Okay. So, the value of capacitance is 59 microfarad. Okay. So, you, so, we got the value of persistence and capacitance. Okay. Now, once more explaining the problem from the first part. See, in the question, supply is given as 120 volt, frequency is given as 50 hertz, current is given as 2 ampere, power loss in the resistor is given as 100 watt. Okay. Now, power loss occurs only in the resistor. Therefore, power is equal to I square into R. Current I is given as 2 ampere. Therefore, 100 is equal to 2 square into R. Therefore, resistance R is equal to 100 by 4. That is 25 ohm. So, we got the value of R as 25 ohm. Now, what is basically power? Power is equal to VA cos phi. You know, already value of, the, that is, we are, we are getting uh, uh, 100 watt. That uh, power is equal to VA cos phi. That is 100 watt. See, basically VA cos phi is IT power. IT power is dissipated in the resistor. So, power is equal to VA cos phi. Therefore, cos phi is P by VA. So, power is given. So, P is 100. Voltage is 120. Current is 2 ampere. So, from there we will get cos phi is 0 0.42. Now, since it is an RC circuit, power factor is leading. So, power factor is 0 0.42 leading. Okay. Now, if you are drawing the impedance triangle of the given circuit, resistance will be on horizontal axis. In the, 
capacitive reactance will be on vertical axis at an angle minus at an angle minus 90 degree. Then Z will be the combination of R and C. Phi is the angle between R and Z. So from the imbalance triangle we will get cos y is equal to R by Z. From there we will get Z is equal to R by cos y. The value of cos y is 0.42. Therefore Z is 25 divided by 0.42. That is 59.52 ohm. So the imbalance of the circuit is given as 59.52 ohm. Now coming to HC. What is HC? HC is root of Z square minus R square. From this triangle we will get HC is root of Z square minus R square. Now, what is H? So, that is given by root of 59.52 square minus 25 square. That is approximately equal to 54 ohms. Now, what is HC? HC is basically 1 by omega C. What is 1 by omega C? 1 by omega C is the inductive, uh, uh, 1 by omega C is the capacitive reactance of the circuit. It is given by HC is equal to 1 by omega C. From there, we will get capacitance C as 1 by omega into HC. So, the value of capacitance we will get it as 59 microfarad. So, value of capacitance is 59, 59 microfarad. Okay. Okay. I think you have understood this problem. Okay. Now, go into the next problem. Okay. Now, next problem is regarding RL series circuit. Okay. So, let me read out the problem first. A 200 volt 50 hertz supply is connected to a resistance of 20 ohm in series with an iron code choke coil. Okay. That means a resistance is connected in series with a coil. Coil means R in series with L. The readings of voltmeters across the resistance and across the coil are 120 volt and 150 volt respectively. Okay. Find the loss in the coil. Also find the total power factor. Draw, draw the phasor diagram. Okay. So, I will explain the problem in the next slide. Okay. Fine. Okay. So, let me divide this into two first. Okay. So, basically in this question, you are having a resistor. The resistor is connected in series with the coil. Coil means resistor in series with L. Okay. And you are having a supply voltage. Supply voltage is given as 200 volt. Supply voltage is given as 200 volt and supply frequency is given as 50 hertz. Supply frequency is given as 50 hertz. Okay. Now, what is value of resistance? Value of resistance is 20 ohm. Okay. Value of resistance is 20 ohm. This is 20 ohm. This is R in series with L. Okay. Now, one more data is given. What is that? The, volt, the voltage across the resistance is 120 volt and voltage across the coil is 150 volt. Okay. So, let me mark also. Voltage across the resistor is 120 volt. Voltage across the resistor is given as 120 volt. Okay. This is complete. Voltage across the coil is 150 volt. Voltage across the coil is 150 volt. Okay. Now, another data is given. No. Now, what is it? Find the dose in the coil and find the total power factor. Okay. Now, how to find the dose in the coil? Dose in the coil means I square into small r. Okay. Now, let capital I be the current flowing through the circuit. Now, 120 volt is appearing across 20 ohm. Therefore, current I is given by current I is given by 120 divided by 20. Okay. Therefore, current I is 6 ampere. Okay. That is based on ohms. So, we will get it as 6 ampere. From where we will get current through 20 ohm resistor is I. Voltage across 20 ohm resistor is 120 volt. Therefore, current through the circuit I, I is given by V by R, that is 120 by 20. Therefore, current of the circuit is 6 ampere. Okay. Now, first part is over. Now, if you are drawing the phase diagram of the circuit, if you are drawing the phase diagram, how will it be? I am taking current as reference. 
current I is the reference. Now, 120 volt will be in phase with current. 120 volt will be in phase with current. 120 volt will be in phase with current. Now, in 150 volt, let VR be the voltage across resistance and VL be the voltage across inductance. So, VR will be also in phase with I. Okay, so I can add 120 and VR. 120 and VR are in phase. Okay, starting point of VR is here. Okay, starting point of VR is after 120 volt. Now, in the case of a RL series circuit, voltage across the inductor leads current by an angle 90 degree. So, VR and VL is like this. Okay, now, 150 volt, 150 volt is a combination of VR and VL. 150 volt is a combination of VR and VL. So, this is 150 volt. 200 volt is a combination of combination of 120 volt VR as well as VL. So, this is 200 volt. 200 volt. Okay. 200 volt supply voltage is a combination of 120 volt plus voltage across the resistance plus voltage across the inductance. Okay, so VR plus VL is 150. That means 200 is again uh, 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 can be again said so as it is a combination of 120 and 150. This is a combination of 120 and 150. Now, here I will mark two angles. This is the first angle. Okay, so, le so le let it be alpha. Okay, this is the second angle. Right. Okay. Now, if you are taking cos alpha, cos alpha is the power factor of the coil. Cos alpha is the power factor of the coil. Cos phi is the entire power factor of the circuit. Power factor of the entire circuit. Okay. Okay, why alpha means it is that it is related to VR and VL only, whereas phi is related to 120 volt VR as well as VL. Now, by using Pythagoras theorem, say I am marking points as O, A, B, C. By using Pythagoras theorem, from triangle ABC, from triangle A. B C from triangle A B C we can write it as triangle this is triangle from triangle A B C we can write it as one fifty square one fifty square is equal to V R square plus V R square V V R square plus V L square that is equation number 1. Leave it there. Now, from triangle OBC, from triangle OBC, by applying, by applying Pythagoras in triangle OBC, we can write it as 200 square. 200 square is equal to 120 plus VR. That is our sum like this. 120 plus VR the whole square plus V L square. Okay. Now expanding it, we will get it as 200 square is equal to 120 square plus 240 VR plus VR square plus V L square. That is equation number 2. Now, from equation number 1, V R square plus V L square is 150 square. Therefore, 200 square 200 square is equal to 120 square plus 240 V R plus 150 square. 
Okay. From this expression, we get VR as VR. VR is equal to 200 square minus 120 square minus 150 square minus 150 square whole divided by 240. So the value of VR is 200 square minus 120 square minus 150 square divided by 240. So the answer is 12.92. Okay, so the water across resistance smaller is 12.92. Volt. Okay. Now, again we can write it as Vr is equal to I into small r. Okay. Therefore, what is r? r is Vr divided by I. Okay. So, what is I? I is 6 ampere. I is 6 ampere. Therefore, v, therefore small r is 12.92 divided by 6. It is 2.15 ohm. 2.15 ohm. Okay. So that is the value of R. Okay. Now, if you need to find the value of L, okay. So you got R as small r is 2.15 ohm. Keep it there. Small r is 2.15 ohm. So I am just keeping it there. Okay. Now, what is VL basically? Okay, from equation, now see, VR you got it as, what is VR? VR is 12.92 volt. Okay. Now let me rub the last one. Okay. I am rubbing this part. Okay. Okay. Now, what is VR? VR is 12.92 volt. Therefore, what is VL square? From equation 1, VL square is 150 square minus VR square. So, what is it? VR is 12.92. Therefore, the answer is 150 square minus 12.92 square. What is it? It is okay. Now, I am, okay, that is equal to double two, double three. Okay, it is double two, double three. Therefore, what is VL? VL is root of that. I mean, the root of that. Okay, so VL is, VL is 149.44 volt. 149.44 volt. Okay. So that is about VL. VL is 149.44 volt. Okay. Now, from that, how can I find the value of L? How can I find the value of L? What is VL? Okay. So let me, okay. Now, let me do it here. That's what. What is VL? VL is I into HL. Okay. So now what is XL? XL is VL by I. Okay. XL is VL by I. VL is 149.44 divided by current is 6. So it is approximately 25 ohm. So the value of XL is 25 ohm. Now, what is XL? XL is basically omega into L. Okay. Now, let me rub the right side. Let me rub the right side of this one. Okay. Some part. But I'm rubbing it. Okay. So I the this omega into it. So after that, let me come here. Okay. Now Omega is what? Frequency is 50 Hz. Therefore, Omega is 314 radian per second. Omega is 314 radian per second. Therefore, L is 
एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय ओमेगा व्हाट इज इट सो व्हाट इज एक्स 25 डिवाइडेड बाय 314 सो वी कैन वी गेट इट एज 0.079 और यू कैन टेक यू कैन टेक इट एज 17 79.6 मिली हंड्रेड एंड इट द 79.6 पॉइंट 79.6 मिली हंड्रेड सो द वैल्यू ऑफ इंडक्टेंस इज 79.6 मिली हंड्रेड ओके नाउ इन द क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज आस इन द क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज आस दिस यू नीड टू फाइंड द लॉस इन द कॉइल एंड आल्सो फाइंड द टोटल पावर फैक्टर दैट मींस वी नीड टू फाइंड cos phi एंड i स्क्वायर r दैट मींस वी नीड टू फाइंड बेसिकली वी नीड टू फाइंड व्हाट इज cos phi cos phi एंड व्हाट इज लॉस इन द कॉइल लॉस इन द कॉइल इज i स्क्वायर इनटू स्मॉल r लॉस इन द कॉइल इज i स्क्वायर इनटू स्मॉल r सो यू नीड टू फाइंड the total power factor of the circuit cos phi and dos on the coil that is i square into r okay so for that let me uh, to proceed further further let me erase the right side okay erase the right side part okay Wait for some time. Okay. So let me finish it. Okay. What we need to find is we need to find the power loss in the coil and I square up. Okay. Okay. That is power loss in the coil is given by power loss in the coil PC is given by I square into small r okay what is i i is currently 6 ampere so it is 36 into what is small r small r is 2.15 ohm 2.15 ohm therefore power loss in the coil is i square into r so that is 36 into 2.15 so that comes around 77.4 watts 77 Point four one. Okay, so that is the power loss in the coil PC. Now we need to find cos phi. Okay, we need to find cos phi. Okay, so how will you find cos phi? Cos phi is basically cos phi. Okay, if you are dividing, okay, cos phi. Okay, if you are dividing all sides of the triangle by Okay, or before going into that, okay, let me take it. Okay, so what is power factor? Power factor is basically 120. Uh, if you if you look into a triangle O B C O B C, cos phi is 120 120 plus V R whole divided by whole divided by 200 divided by 200 so cos phi is 120 plus vr 4 divided by 200 okay so to find vr again uh, okay vr we either we can take from the uh, uh, explanation or here i will calculate again what is vr vr is basically i into small r what is i i is uh, 6 ampere so 6 into 2 point 6 into 2.15 this 12.9 this i into r we will get it as 12.9 volt okay this 12.9 volt then what is cos phi cos phi we will get it as 120 plus 12.9 divided by 200 okay so we will get it around 0 0.67 0 0.6 this 5 0 0.665 okay this around 0 0.65 now how to check whether it is lagging or leading now see supply voltage is here this is the supply voltage v current is if you are if you are if you are rotating the entire phase diagram in the counterclockwise direction voltage if you are 
if you are rotating the uh, rotating the phase diagram in the counterclockwise direction if you are considering the point x voltage comes first and current comes after that therefore current is lagging voltage at an angle phi therefore power factor is lagging power factor is lagging power factor is lagging now to have some uh, extension of this question if power factor of the coil is fast, you need to find cos alpha. What is cos alpha? Cos alpha is basically Vr by uh, or uh, cos alpha is basically Vr by 150. This Vr by 150. That is power factor of the coil. What is Vr? Here is 12.9. So it is 12.9 divided by 150. 12.9 divided by 150 means it is 0 0.086. 0 0.086. Okay. And again, since it is an RL circuit, we can take it as lag. Okay. So, it is a power factor of the coil. Okay. So, with that, I am ending with this question. Okay. So, uh, with that, okay. Now, how we have proceeded with the question? We have started with RLC. Uh, we, we, have, we have started with R in series with RL series circuit. Then, supply voltage is 200 volt. And... Uh, and 120 volt is across 20 ohm and 150 volt is across R and L connected in series. From there, we have found out the current. Current I is 120 by 20, that is 6 ampere. Then after that, we have drawn the phase diagram. Taking current as reference, 120 volt will be in phase with the current. Vr, that is the voltage across the small resistance, R will be, will be also in phase with I. And Vl will be leading current by an angle. 90 degree. We will be leading current by an angle 90 degree. Okay. Then from the phase of diagram, we have found out the values of Vr and Vl using Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is applied first in triangle, first in triangle ABC, that is Vr square plus Vl square is 150 square. Again, if you are applying the Pythagoras theorem in the big triangle, that is OBC, we will get it as 200 square is equal to 120 plus Vr, the whole square, plus Vl square. From that, we are solved for Vr and Vl. Okay. Now, based on Vr and Vl, what is Vr? Vr is I into R. What is Vl? Vl is I into H. Okay. Now, based on v, uh, Vr is equal to I into R, since already current is known, resistance R is found out. Okay. Now, what is Vl? Vl is I into H. What is H? So, from there, we have found out H as Vl divided by I. Then, again, H is equal to omega into L. So, we need to calculate the value of omega. What is omega? Omega is 2 pi F. Since frequency is 50 Hz, omega is 314 radian per second. From there, we have calculated the value of inductance. Okay. So, we, we have found out the resistance of the coil as well as inductance of the coil. Now, the question was asked to, fi uh, asked to find the power loss in the coil. Power loss in the coil is given by I square into small r. Okay. What is I? I is 6 into small r. What is small r? Small r is 2.15. So, power loss in the coil PC is given as 77.4 watts. Now, if you are looking to the and uh, that triangle, if you are looking at triangle O, B, C, we, we are having two angles, phi and alpha. If you are taking cos phi, cos phi is, cos phi is power factor of the entire circuit. Cos alpha is power factor of the coil. To find power factor of the circuit, you need to find cos phi. What is cos phi? Cos phi is 200, uh, uh, cos phi is OB divided by 200. What is OB? OB is 120 plus VR. 120 plus VR divided by 200. From there, you will get cos phi as 0.665 lakh. Now, what is cos alpha? Cos alpha is AB divided by 150. So, it is VR. AB is VR. VR divided by 150. It is 0.086 lakh. Okay. So, so that is a that is a brief regarding this question. Okay. So in this video we have dealt with we have dealt with two questions. First one is R in series with capacitance. Okay. We we need to find the values of R and C. In the second case we have we have dealt with resistance in series with a coil. Okay. So R in series with L, this part becomes the this part becomes the coil. Okay. Of in the second question. So, I am ending with this session. Thank you. And if you are liking this video, please subscribe the channel. Okay. And give like, subscribe.
Thank you.